be doing something a little bit different today. Uh, as you can see, one, I don't have my in-house fighter, and two, I'm not playing priest. So it's going to be a bit more interesting than normal. Uh, you get to see me on a character I'm not as experienced on. Now that is not to say I don't know what to cast at any given point of time. I've done extensive simulation. I'm sure most people have seen my character solver spreadsheet and it involves a warlock. So that is not to say that I don't know what's important to cast at what time, but I have really bad muscle memory. I play through keybinds and all those buttons over there. I, <laughs> I don't particularly have through instinct at this point of what button goes to what key. Uh, so in terms of uh, keybinds as well, a lot my keybind configuration, uh, as in the key map of what keys go into which hotkeys in the client, was written with the playing a word in mind. It was not written with playing a warlock in mind. So, uh, in terms of the keybinds themselves, they could probably be a bit more um, optimized. Uh, but I don't want to fix it because I, I never play this role, or I very rarely play this role. Uh, it looks like we're looking for one more. I was planning on hoping finishing this monologue and then we, we get into your zone. So I don't particularly view Warlocks as a very difficult to play class. Uh, a lot of people tend to, but generally what you want to do is build up increments, hit your temps, and then blow your increments. If you have time warp, uh, hopefully you time it with time warp where the Illy Helps you out. You call for time warp. Time warp is called for somehow, uh, and that goes off. Uh, surprisingly, the temporary charms like Hemp and Halter, um, if you have group wide Hemp and Halter, it's at low levels of crit bonus and potency. It's actually more important than time warp, which isn't too surprising if you actually look at the numbers, but it, the fact that you, casting outside of time warp is better is weird when you have such high uh, double cast through just normal itemization now. Let's see anything else. Um, minor minor things that you can do to min max is uh, cast your mythical during the mid cast on your first spell. Doesn't sound like much but it will increase the damage of that spell by a lot because it, it counts as casting an ability and that increases your crit bonus and potency through the new prestige 2.0 inlines. It's something I haven't gotten in the muscle memory of doing is cast spell and then go into mythical clicky mid cast. Uh, obviously much easier to do this with the keybinds. It's probably not worth it if you're going to click your keys manually uh, just because it's going to be very stressful. The mi amount of misclicks will be high. Uh, your first spell will be changing a lot. Um, just another reason I really like keybinds. Let's see, anything else? Um, probably most interesting or powerful thing you can do on a Warlock is do two sets of 180 increments uh, detonations during one set of focus casting. What that looks like is um, obviously potency, clicky, focus casting, detonation into like cataclysm into AOE detent. You might want to do the AOE detent first actually, come to think of it. That would prevent you from dying from the cataclysm detonation. Anyway, so AOE detent into cataclysm into uh, blast of devastation into like skull explosion into rift and that should get you enough increments to detonation again. And that actually is kind of mechanically intensive. You have to cast a lot of spells very, very quickly to build increments. And you do have a quite a, a small time. You have it, it's like easy to do, but it's not. You you need to practice a bit um, to reliably do it. 
you'll probably see me fail quite a few times because I simply haven't put on the hours in this character. But that's, in my opinion, the hardest thing you can do on a warlock. Anything else is um, just really easy stuff. Like you see something coming towards you, you AoE de de-aggro it, or you force you target nearest and then you drop the position, or stuff like that. Or just knowing what to cast ahead of time. It's just I don't know. Easy stuff, really. <coughs> I wonder who that word and cast that on. Okay. Oh, I was too slow. I was curious to who that she put Spirit of Fat on. She put on the assassin, she put on a fighter. It's not because I, I have I think one's correct or not. I mean, I do think the assassin is correct, especially if we're trivial zones such as dinos. But the reason I wanted to know um, who she cast it on is because she was in the group or a, a gilby or a friend, that, and I wanted to know more about the fighter. And I was trying to imply that meeting by the fighter priest interaction there. I almost forgot a Tempidorian, that would be really bad. Now for whether potency or crit bonus or is better, I haven't done a simulation to f prove which is better. Obviously you get more multipliers to potency and then you have focus casting which gives you more multipliers to crit bonus, very small duration, blah 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 blah. So I'm not going to pretend that I have. I honestly don't care and I don't play this character enough to know. But I can make a very good estimated guess. And the estimated guess is because auto attack damage is so important now, uh, because we got just crap tons of weapon damage bonus from the new Fable gear and we get, um, not cork studs, but warped machines crew, which gives even more free weapon damage bonus. This character doesn't even have uh, science, it's so underloved. That uh, I imagine that shifts the scale into uh, crit bonus, as well as uh, your group having decent procs. But we will see uh, if I ever mo get moved to this role for full time, god forbid. I hate not playing priest or fighter. Life act. Holy crap baskets. We have a warden that is left side. Alright. It's going to be interesting. Let's see. Yeah, they got the sun immunity too. How do I guess groups just don't do damage? Every really <laughs> weird. Yeah, yeah. See, we have the sun immunity plus knockdown immunity. I think it's the only skill in the game that gives knockdown immunity. Kind of cool. See, I already messed up. I should not have cast flames. Oh, yes, there. I should have cast um, distortion. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not running act. I guess people would like to know how much damage I'm doing. Hold on. Cast that to cancel the uh, temps. Now the reason I didn't knock Steve off that mob is because the mob was going to get die uh, too fast for me to build increments, or the ads were going to build too fast for me to build increments, or that was my thought. I'm not sure if it was actually accurate or not. Oh, we have an Illy. I wonder if time warp is cast. Oh, time warp was cast. Oh, see, that's what I get for not having act triggers. Uh, Zerker must be an offensive stance, so those guys do not hit that hard. Not that I disagree with being an offensive stance here. Forget what the offensive stance looks like. But I should be more careful because Zerkers don't get as much hate gain in offensive. So if you're wondering why I cast that was in a really weird order, is because the ads have damage reduction. So I wanted to force force target the named, and then even though Rift had uh, increased cast time post detonation, it would be going off as the ads died. I mean, as the name died, so the ads would take full damage. So it looked really weird that I would do it in such a way, but it actually was optimal to do that. Oh, I should have cast uh, Damnation way earlier. This Acid Storm is going to be late. AoE Detaunt, so I just don't die to that. The detonant actually didn't even go off. I wonder if it's because it was on a slope and... Ha no, like, that detonant goes through walls and random shit. I don't know. That's weird. I never here for literally no reason at all. Other than I just want to kill this before things get messy. Oh, we actually have T-Shell. Great. Peace of mind, really. really. I'm gonna cast Mystical Field anyway, because I just want to cast on the move. Cast my Mythical Mid cast. Whoa, why do I have aggro? I'm trying to drop, trying to drop, trying to drop. Alright, we're good, we got it. My positioning could have been better. Uh, this character is using predominantly advanced solo here. Um, obviously, well, it's incredibly budget. It's using the comrade neck from this zone, ironically. It's using the comrade ring from advanced solo. It's using 
this from advanced solo, also advanced solo. This is fabled zones, but these are mastercraft, this zone. So my positioning increases my crit bonus and potency by about a hundred, and if I had positioned better, I would have dealt more damage, but I didn't. I'm used to pulling it in a different spot, obviously. Cancel that. I'm going to go ahead and cast Apocalypse because it's just the best spell to cast here in terms of damage. Play Banger is this. Highest damage single target nuke. Cast that as well. I could have probably played that better by casting uh, my Tempt Buff, Gift of Burt, but I wanted the increments, so I didn't. I'm not sure if that will actually matter. Uh, I don't know how long this encounter will last, so. Alright, looks like we're pulling everything. Which means I am in the wrong spot. Really he's dead. I'm gonna detaunt here to Dark. work. I'm not going to cast for 3 seconds, hopefully. Stun break. Alright, got it off. Ah, I thought the taunt's up in 2 seconds, I hope I live. I did. Neat. Change the single target spells with the Warlock Mythical. Cancel Sanguine Sacrifice, so it's up early. Go ahead and cancel Skull Focus as well. Again, I'm sure my positioning could have been better. If you're paying really close attention, you saw me cast Rift early and there are no targets in range, simply because I don't know the range of the AE. That will come with practice. Again, like, no idea what I'm doing in terms of mechanics in this class. Know what to cast, when to cast, just not the finer elements. Dark. 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 Boiling increments there because I just want to, basically. <laughs> uh, I expect them to be up for the next names. We're already at 96, and I believe there's another wave or two. Yeah, there we go. Hit this one with Plane Bringer so it dies. We're at max increments again. Name is spawned. Focus casting will be up soon. Recast the uh, temp that stops me from dying. Completely pugged, by the way. Everything about this group is pugged. Start off with the uh, dark Nox debuff. All right, so I don't expect to be able to get two sets of increments here. I just don't think we have. I think our damage is high enough that that dark. won't happen. So I'm saving my increments until the mob has damage reduction, and then I'll cast them. A joke. Uh, I actually am doing that though. I actually got the focus casting reset. Neat. 
can cast that right now because I can cast it during spells. And that's the zone. Obviously, dino, so nothing impressive to see, like visually. But hopefully, I explained the mechanics of my decision-making process rather well. Darn, I don't get to lose a mage ethereal. Oh, actually, yeah, I, I'd probably lose it to Lily. I'm terrible luck on rolling for ethereals. 